Today is the last session of Unit 3, Session 5, and the topic is Hedging and Derivatives in Islamic Finance. Hedge funds are investment vehicle that can be designed to manage risk of private photo portfolios of assets. They typically employ complex investment strategies. But hedge funds can also be alternative investment vehicle to exploit perceived security mispricing by hedge, by hedge fund managers who engage in arbitrage trading assuming significant financial leverage such as short sales, borrowing and derivatives. Presently, a great deal of skepticism exists among investors in Arab or Islamic countries regarding the structure of hedge funds and their apparent non-compatibility with Sharia. Hedge funds returns have been driven in large part due to the use of leverage and associate, associated short sales that are not permissible under Islamic finance rulings. The use of leverage under Sharia is extremely selective and is only allowed under conditions where assets are purchased on deferred payment basis or through the use of Islamic debt. Short sales, however, involve the sale of assets not in the position of the investor and as a consequence, are non-tradable from an Islamic, uh, non-tradable for an Islamic hedge fund. It is the it is the consistent opinion of most scholars that the risk of payment cannot be transferred to another party. Scholars have begun to accept investment in hedge funds if they are for hedging purposes, but not if they are seeking to speculate or gamble. However, it is difficult to distance hedge funds from excessive speculation. In this session, we will discuss these issues in some detail. <clears throat> 